Hey, in this video we are going to create this as an example of what can be achieved with camera movement in 3GS. By the way, I suggest you watch my previous tutorial in which I explained the stuff that we are going to use in this one, I'll leave you the link in the description below. Now before we get into the examples code, I'm pretty sure you'd want to know how I got the values of each camera position. And the answer to that is simple, I just used the first person controls to fly around within this model. Then I added the mouse up event to display the coordinates of the latest position of the camera in the console. That being said, let's create the first animation of our example. So we'll use the gsap2 method and simply change the x, y and z values of the camera position object. That done, we'll get rid of the camera controls and see what we've got. And as you can see, the camera has its position changed, but it looks in the wrong direction. To fix that, we are going to add another animation and this time we are going to change the values of the rotation object, since we are going to rotate the camera to change its orientation. And there we go. Next, we are going to repeat the same steps, but there are two things we need to do first. The first thing is to clean up our code, so since we are going to create six animations, we'll need to type these two block of codes six times. That said, what we are going to do to make the code look concise and clean is create a couple of functions dedicated each to one task. The first task is to change the position, so we'll create a function and call it move camera. The second task is the rotation of the camera, so we'll call this function rotate camera. Now every time we click we get our camera positioned and oriented based on these values, but that's obviously not what we want always to happen since we have other values of other positions we want the camera to move to. So to tell which animation should be applied we'll use a variable that tells us in which state or position the camera is currently in, then based on that value the right camera animation should be applied and that can be done using a mere switch statement. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.